Sometimes you might need an EDC, other times you might need an outdoor knife. Sometimes you need something a little bit in between. That's what I have here, or that was what was intended to be of this knife. Now, this is the Joker CM77. This is a handcrafted in Spain knife. Um, it's otherwise known as the RAK1. Still uh, handcrafted in Spain, either model number you get. There is one that is referred to as the CM77 USA, which uh, you will not find because that's not a real knife. That's just a title that it was made in the U.S. It was, sorry, not made, but sent to the USA, but still made in Spain. Now this knife right here, um, it's actually a beautiful knife, but I was not happy when I received it. That's because it came in this leather sheath versus the Kydex sheath that I ordered because the model number of the CM77 USA showed a Kydex sheath. Now, um, they don't come with Kydex sheets. They did for a limited time, but uh, every model that has been recently produced now comes with this leather sheath. So when you receive this knife, if you're looking forward to the leather sheath, you will be uh, ecstatic. If you're looking forward to the Kydex sheath, you're going to have to have one made or produce one yourself. Now, let's get down to the knife. This knife right here uh, is a spear point swedge, or as uh, I like to call it, it's almost a harpoon top. Not quite, but, but pretty close. And that is a military style design right there. Now, this knife has several features that make it a military knife. Now, as you notice on the Joker box, their intent is not to have it as a military knife but simply an outdoorsman knife it'll it'll do both it's actually it can function as a law enforcement military service or as a good hunting knife now with the kydex sheath that they showed in the picture it would have been a pretty sound uh, EDC and that's because this full length of this blade right here is uh, about four and a half inches but the cut the cutting length on it is approximately four so you could actually carry this in a sheath especially that Kydex one, the way it was designed, close to your body and have a pretty stout EDC that uh, you may be going to uh, somewhere where you require a stout fixed blade knife. Now it is a full tang. You can see that the body on this thing, it is beautiful. It is thick. And that four and a half inches of blade right here of this German Krupp high carbon stainless steel, well, that actually breaks down to 440C. So really good quality steel that uh, is going to take an edge, it's going to hold an edge. Um, it could stain a little bit, but not necessarily. It's going to take a lot to stain this blade. And that's because that 440C, uh, you would have to leave this thing in salt water or salt water environment and pretty much abuse it to start to get uh, some spots on it. Either way, it'll, it'll come right off. Now, this right here, this is black and gray micarta. Now this handle feels really nice because it is somewhat rounded. It's not just flat and squared off like uh, a lot of your uh, EC knives or uh, your Ontario knife company. These are actually have rounding to them. And then this uh, almost like a finger choil right here. Uh, it's more of a finger groove the way that it's built into this knife. It actually fits your hand really well. Notice down here at the bottom, now this goes back to the military aspect of it. Now that could be considered a skull pummel or striker, but whenever you look on their website, they call it uh, an icebreaker or wood knocker. Now if you're wanting to knock something into wood, you could use that. It also has a lanyard hole. So they keep throwing this knife back as a hunting knife. And, and it'll work as a hunting knife. But what about this notch right here? Is that part of a hunting knife? Right here, here's the jimping, that's really nice. But then notice, there's this groove. Well, that groove is a wire cutter. So again, we're going back to a military style, a military design or law enforcement design. How does this work? Now there's two ways these work. One, you have a sheath made of kydex, well obviously not this one, that has a little notch on the back of it, that has a cutter built into the sheath. Now these are two different styles you can use this with. One, it fits into the sheath on the notch and it would have a cutter right here and then you would take and press that cutter against this flat top of this blade right here 
and actually cut the wire. Interesting, isn't it? The other way is you could attach this knife to a sheath, again, a kydex style sheath, that has a plate right here, and you actually pull the knife and cut the wire. Now that would be using the edge of the blade when some of the sheaths that are kydex actually have the cutter built in where the barbed wire or metal slides in to a little notch and then you take and cut it. Now there are other ways that this can be a wire cutter. It could have a hole right here where a piece attaches to it. Some of the older designs actually had that notch that you would put in there and you would put the tool and run the wire through and then you would take and simply crank it and the wire would get cut on either side of the blade. So, that's where you get this rack one. That rack one usually has been designed as a military term. So, this knife, uh, the intended purpose as marketed with the leather sheath, it's simply an outdoorsman knife. With a military purpose kydex sheath, this could be a really good uh, military knife if you want a small, lighter weight, solid, uh, full stainless steel blade. I mean, look at it in the hand. I mean, it is. it feels like a small utility or fighting knife. It really does. It could be used as a skinning knife. Um, the belly doesn't drop down quite as much as you would like as an outdoor uh, skinning knife. And I mean, this blade right here, I'm putting my fingerprints all over it, but when you clean it up, man, it is a really pretty, pretty high sheen knife. Uh, eventually it won't be, because it'll get used. This knife right here um, retails for about $125, but you can find it online for as low as $48. Bucks. Um, if you don't mind the leather sheath or you want to custom order or build yourself your own Kydex sheath, $50, bucks, it would be worth it. Um, to get the German Krupp high carbon stainless steel, that 440C equivalent, it would be a really uh, useful knife at four and a half inches at this blade length right here. Uh, it's going to be legal as an outdoorsman knife. It's perfectly fine in the United States. As a matter of fact, in Texas, you can just carry this sucker on the side of your hip and uh, it fits the bill as an EDC. Um, it would be nicer to have that Kydex sheath because the Kydex sheath can be mounted uh, uh, horizontally or vertically. Um, the leather sheath, you only have one option. The snaps on it, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, I really, I mean, smells like beautiful leather. Um, it's just, I wasn't expecting the leather sheath, so that's what was disappointing. So, I have to get over that. Uh, get over it and find out the fact that this is a really nice knife. And, as everybody knows, I'm partial to this uh, harpoon style or it is a spear point swedge, but the way that it digs down and has the uh, wire cutter, it almost gives it the effect of being a harpoon top knife. So I do appreciate that uh, military throwback design. Anyway, like I said, in the hand, fits perfectly. It's got a nice feel to it. You could use it as an outdoorsman knife. You could use it as a military knife. You could use it as an everyday carry in uh, states that allow the little bit larger knives, more robust knife. Um, this knife right here is a workhorse. Everything about it screams, uh, take me outside and get to work. Don't be afraid to tear it up. Anyway, that micarta handle, that thing's going to last forever. That 440C, that's going to last forever. This sheath right here, it's not going to last more than a year uh, in the part of Texas I live in because Leather does not like humidity, moisture, and rain, and we get way too much of that. So this sheath right here would only survive maybe a couple of hunting seasons or outdoor seasons uh, before it started to tatter and peel. And uh, you're going to go and unsnap it one day, and that whole thing's just going to tear off. I've had leather sheaths before, and that's what happens. But probably going to make my own Kydex sheath, see how that turns out. Maybe I'll do a video on... Uh, how to make one using an oven uh, in your own homemade press. I've done some reviews about it uh, myself, reading wise and watching videos, and I uh, might do a video review. So, Joker CM77, standard version, otherwise known as the RAK1. 
If you can find one for 50 bucks or less, go out and get yourself one. You will not be disappointed. Again, if you do end up with Kydex sheath, kudos to you. That's fantastic. If you get the leather sheath, maybe you're into leather. Um, nice look, but uh, don't put it in the snow. Don't put it in the rain. Thank you. Happy hunting, and I hope you find one with the sheath you wanted. Thanks.